Hey, happy sunshine family. Welcome back. We're coming to take a look at the two radar loops that we've been just documenting and recording uh, a little bit of every so often, just so that we have it to look back on. You can see my assistant DG is here hard at work. Yeah. Yeah. She's purring. I'm sure that you can't hear that through the microphone, though. All right. Well, let's switch over to the IntelliCast feed. And there's no radar for the Hurricane Maria that is what they named the storm that went through Puerto Rico today. And we can see that on Isla Sayona, this is about the closest wind speed that I can find to uh, this area, which is, is pretty close when we overlay the NASA uh, feed for the clouds from the satellite. Uh, we're, we're in the middle of the hurricane, but yet it's only reporting that we have 35 mile an hour winds. Now, I'm not doubting that there was some awful weather going on in this area. Um, I, I don't know that it was that awful that every weather feed out of Puerto Rico is shut off to us and that none of the other radar stations that would be on any of these other land masses, uh, they haven't. They haven't been knocked out yet. Uh, I mean, we should get something on the radar imagery for this storm. And it just makes me wonder if there's an information blackout on this. And the Truth Channel has a little bit more information that way. She's been able to find some private weather stations that document that yes, for a very short period of time, Early this morning, around 7 a.m. local time in Puerto Rico, that wind speeds reach 75 miles an hour, or one mile an hour more than they needed to call this storm a hurricane. And the storm blinked off of radar. It's gone. Uh, in my update last night, uh, we saw it. The eye was just about ready to hit the... Puerto Rico, southern, southeastern uh, part of the island. So let's head on up to the Massachusetts area. Now this reflectivity, the green and the yellow, is what they're calling Hurricane Jose. Now we can overlay the, the NASA satellite imagery. Wow, what, what is, let's push play. Well, that doesn't look right, guys. Okay. Wow, look, look at that supposed satellite imagery. Okay, this is important, guys. I, I, you can see that the clouds here, the clouds here are moving clockwise. Look at that. The clouds from the satellite image from NASA guys, they're moving clockwise and the radar image of the moisture that's in the air that the radar is reflecting off of is moving counterclockwise. <laughs> Holy cow, guys, what an observation. Wow, I'm glad I came on right now to record this. I was just gonna document uh, the feeds just so that we can go back and maybe find observations later if we need to look at them. I didn't expect to make one real time. 
Yeah, the green here is the radar, and that's flowing in a counterclockwise direction. And these clouds, the outer bands of these clouds are moving clockwise. The inner band are moving counterclockwise. But look, even over here, The clouds are pulling away, it's starting to go the opposite direction. That What's going on here, guys? Something, I don't know what this means, but this doesn't look right to me. This, this feels like it's an important observation. Any meteorologist, anyone experienced with the weather? I, do we get Weather Wars 101 or I don't know any of the other guys. Uh, I'm trying to think of their names right now. Uh, maybe... Pacific Redwood or one Pacific Redwood? This doesn't look right. Let's take a look at the composite loop. All right, now we're on the national high resolution reflectivity composite loop. And look at this straight line of storms that's coming from Tahoe up through what basically Reno and up into Idaho and just a little piece of Wyoming here that's I want to zoom in here into California I'm seeing the clouds sweep down to the south Wish I could get that more in the center for you guys, but I, maybe if I zoom in a little bit more, but it's on the edge of the page, so that's, that's as close as I can get it to the center, but look at that. See these lines of clouds are swinging south like they're, it's like a gate on a garden fence opening up. That doesn't, that's very strange to me. And gosh, just the way this is hanging out here, this is really ominous looking right here in Idaho. Wow. Wow, over here in Iowa, they got some red color on the reflectivity. It's getting pretty heavy over here. You know, there's some interesting visual artifacts. I want to slow this down a few. All right. Look down here around the Illinois, Missouri, and Iowa. And you're going to see, see those concentric lines or are they radial? Gosh, they almost look concentric. We're going to slow this down a little bit. Wow. Those look concentric. They don't look like they're radial lines. Wow. That's weird. I wonder what that means. Yeah, so let's go check out what's going on here. We can see how the radar is firing near this storm mass that they named Jose. Wow, so strange that the clouds were moving the opposite direction on that outer band. And that the mass of moisture in the storm does not match the visual image provided us by NASA. I mean, I'm not surprised, but we're in the business on this channel. I don't even want to use the word business. Uh, we're in the behavior of identifying observations that contradict the story that we've been given. Wow, look at these raging storms in Iowa. I wonder if we've got any tornadoes breaking out. Yeah, we'll have to check. 
All right, well, let's get that back within the frame. There we go. So this is just to document where these particular radar feeds were at this particular time. I think we started right around midnight and now it is a quarter after. So we are 9-21-2017 right now. And that means that we are on the autumnal equinox. So happy autumnal equinox family. I love you guys a lot. DG loves you too. Right, sweet? Huh? Oh, she just wants to purr. She's sleeping. All right. Well, we thank her for showing up. It's nice of her to make an appearance. And I will be back soon. Peace.